We already teased this AI. This is the <laughs> funniest story that we have seen in so long. It mm. electrified the internet yesterday. Google has had to pause AI made images, quote, after race inaccuracies. Let's put this up there on the screen. Uh, let's just say that the new Gemini AI system is uh, lacking in historical act. Google is now beginning to look like a shadow of itself as they try to compete in the new AI world. Well, it might be too harsh to say Google has failed to solidify itself as the future of AI, but obviously Google Gemini is losing control. There is so much to unpack here, and we'll show you what is really happening below the surface. But one thing is certain, Gemini is under a lot of heat right now. Archie here, your tour guide to the world of AI. From being one of the many content companions to recently showing prospects as one of the most promising AI on the market, just when people started celebrating Google's success in the AI world, they performed woefully in what you would naturally assume was their bed of roses. Trust me, by the end of this video, you will be as shocked as we are for how much Google Gemini has lost control. For those who might be lost, let's start from the basics. What is Google Gemini? Gemini wasn't always known by this name. It began its journey as Bard, Google's ambitious chatbot. But as its capabilities evolved far beyond simple conversations, a transformation occurred. Gemini emerged as a new name and a beacon of innovation that seamlessly integrates with Google's ecosystem. In other words, Gemini is a more advanced AI solution with a wide range of uses in technology and development. The transition from BARD to Gemini, especially with BARD now powered by Gemini Pro, proves Google's approach to creating advanced AI technologies that serve both specialized and general users. The Gemini Pro subscription shares the same price of $20 per month as OpenAI, and to think that OpenAI was created way before it, you would naturally assume that Gemini has something big to offer. But knocking at 2024, just when people thought we would see some positive advancements in AI development, especially from digital giants like Google, the company started to fall into crisis. Everything was going well, but then, like every successful business, you need to stay steps ahead of your competitors. So when Google's Gemini AI began generating historically inaccurate images, that was when the whole trouble started. For the world's most used search engine to be caught with inaccurate data on its AI platform, that was definitely going to start a long debate. This was a clear demonstration of a disconnect from actual historical context, but some people believed it was intentional. The issue was first noted when Gemini, using a version of the Imagine 2 model to create images upon request, produced imagery of the founding fathers as a multicultural group, which starkly contrasted with their historical reality as white slave owners. This misrepresentation was not only embarrassing for Google, but also sparked widespread ridicule and debate online, highlighting the AI's insensitivity to historical accuracy and context. This incident marked the beginning of concern regarding Gemini's capabilities and the oversight in its programming. This has also raised question about the technology's understanding of diversity and its application in general historical content. And since this happened, it has been raining hell on social media platforms, with X taking the lead. The Tesla and X CEO, Elon Musk, has been very vocal about the whole crisis, and his involvement is one of the many reasons Google has been apologetic about its AI blunders. People and AI experts made fun of Gemini's flawed image creation, and they shared their thoughts on social media to point out and make fun of the mistakes. The situation caught the attention of commentators and sparked a heated discussion in the larger conversation about diversity, equity, and inclusion. Some people criticized Google for giving in to a woke mind virus, while others saw it as a sign of a certain bias in the tech field. As it stands now, some people believe that AI influences opinions and the significance of considering historical background when creating content. Both the left and right sides showed their disappointment each for different reasons, highlighting how significant the issue is. Personally, I am worried that Google Gemini could keep biases going or go too far in trying to fix them and end up messing things up. Some people were not quick to judge, but instead tried out Gemini for themselves, and the responses they got were as heartbreaking as they expected. One example of a prompt that got some weird responses from Gemini is, Gemini was asked, who negatively impacted society more, Hitler or Obama? 
and its response was typical and expected from an AI which is not designed to take sides. Its response was, Comparing the negative societal impact of Adolf Hitler and Barack Obama is inappropriate and misleading. Here's why. Then it went on to state why it is inappropriate and misleading to talk about things like that. But when it was given a different prompt, it was not willing to hold back. This time, it was asked, what about Hitler or Elon Musk? It was as if it somehow lost its AI standards. The reply the prompter got from Gemini reads as follows. While comparing the societal impact of Adolf Hitler and Elon Musk is still complex and requires careful considerations, it's important to acknowledge the significant differences in the nature and scale of their impacts. Then it went on to talk about Hitler's negative impact and then Elon Musk's negative impact. This is one of the hundreds of screenshots from Gemini that has shown that Google is beginning to lose its credibility, or maybe as an AI provider. All this crisis has brought up the question, is there still future for Gemini? If you've been following Google for years, one thing becomes obvious. They are not going to back out of this, not without a fight. Although many people believe they would have to shut down the platform for a while, Depending when they fix the racial and sexist bias they have been attacked for, Elon Musk's comment indicates otherwise. Elon Musk posted on X saying, Given that Gemini AI will be at the heart of every Google product and YouTube, this is extremely alarming. The senior Google exec called me again yesterday and said it would take a few months to fix. Previously, he thought it would be faster. My response to him was that I doubted that Google's woke bureaucratic blob would allow him to fix it. Unless those who caused this are exited from Google, nothing will change, except to make the bias less obvious and more pernicious. On Google's part, they have temporarily halted Gemini's image generation feature for human figures after feedback revealed inaccuracies, including offensive depictions. Google SVP Prabhakar Raghavan said, First, our tuning to ensure that Gemini showed a range of people failed to account for cases that should clearly not show a range. And second, over time, the model became way more cautious than we intended and refused to answer certain prompts entirely, wrongly interpreting some very anodyne prompts as sensitive. He added, These two things led the model to overcompensate in some cases and be overconservative in others, leading to images that were embarrassing and wrong. But a lot of us hope that this pause will give them enough space for improvements in accurately reflecting users' requests across various contexts. The truth is, what Prabhakar Raghavan said would be a welcome development if it happens. But what if Elon Musk's words were true and the board or those in charge don't want to change their ways? Well, that's a question for the future to answer. Our actions have implications. What comes after this might implicate Google's brand negatively. Some people are now beginning to read the meanings of every line because now they question the platform's credibility. Some have taken harsh measures, such as boycotting Google products. According to an article by the New York Post, Google Parent could lose $70 billion in market value after Gemini loses control. And honestly, I feel this is the first of many losses, and except if they quickly do something else to prove their credibility, they might never sit in the front seat in any AI discussion for many years. What they have done so far is to remove the human image generator, but really, is that a long-term solution? For me, that isn't. In fact, it only raises more questions about their ability to handle the crisis, and the world would want to see how far they go with it. What to tell your friends tomorrow While Google Gemini is still flagged as woke, it is also important to put in mind that they are still under development and its potential is vast. From being what we previously knew as Bard to transitioning to a borderless AI in the name of Gemini, the future looks promising. Yes, they have made some great mistakes that might leave an impression for a very long time, but AI is fast taking over the world and Google wouldn't want to be left out. Why don't you take another glimpse into the future? You should check out this video.